everyone. So I want to talk to you guys today about um, intuition. Because a lot of people, that's kind of a buzzword. And a lot of people say, you know, follow your intuition or, you know, I have intuitive feelings. Well, what is intuition? Um, intuition is coming, it comes from a deeper place. It comes from your soul. It comes from your higher self. It comes from your higher power. It comes from your guiding forces, whatever those are for you. So that's what really your intuition is. And the mechanics of it, how intuition actually works, is your um, your guides or your um, higher level wisdom, okay? It, you're always connected. You're always connected to the universe at all times. And these connections uh, allow you to receive information. Again, if you're receiving information from uh, outside of yourself, it's not really outside of yourself because we're all interconnected, but that's another video. So <laughs> if you're receiving information from outside of yourself, like your guides, your, your higher power, your guiding forces, whatever those are, then you know it comes in through your crown chakra, which is here, and then it gets interpreted by your third eye. So your third eye is where the intuition lies, and that's really where you receive, um, you receive and interpret the information. So a lot of times, if your third eye is blocked, for instance, you're not going to receive, you may receive the information, right? It's coming in from your crown chakra. You may receive the information, but then you may find that you have confusion and you don't know, you know, you're, or you're misinterpreting the information that you're receiving or just kind of confused at, well, I'm getting this, but does it mean this? Does it not mean that? And so that's why it's also important to have, you know, your third eye balanced and cleansed all the time. Your crown and your third eye, all your chakras should be blend. <laughs> it should be, um, should be balanced. But so that's really how intuition works. It comes in and also your soul speaks to you through, um, it doesn't come in through your, your crown. It comes in through your, um, through your directly to your third eye from your soul and your higher self. So what happens is you receive this information. Most of the time people walk through life every day, ignoring their intuition. You get a gut feeling. Some people say it's a gut feeling or you just get a random thought in your mind and then you dismiss it because logically it does, it may not make sense. So a lot of times we try to logically explain away our own intuition. So it's important that you actually follow your intuition. When, when you receive information, thoughts, um, feelings, gut feelings, whatever those are, pay attention to them. And the one way that you can check against, you know, whether an intuitive thought is a real intuitive thought or if it's um, something that, you know, you're just making up or something that, that you're afraid of or something like that, check within. So the best way to do that is to really go within and tap into your soul, tap into your, your spirit and ask the question, what does this really feel like? If you find that it, that your thought or um, gut feeling is fear-based, if there's fear underneath there, then that's not in, that's not your intuition. That's your fear trying to um, scare you or hold you back. Okay, so um, that's one test that you can do. But on a daily basis, what you should really do is go within and discover, you know, what make sure that you understand what you're feeling about different things, and when you're receiving information follow it and listen to it because I will tell you something that you will either learn your life lessons through your intuition and guidance or you will learn it through struggle and that's just a fact and a lot of times unfortunately we have to learn our life lessons through struggle but the lessons that you needed to get before you got to that struggle are already there and you're just not you're just not receiving them and you're not listening to them so it's important that you listen to your intuition follow your intuition and really, really focus within and ask yourself those questions and get the answers from yourself because you already know the answers. Your soul already knows why it's here. Your soul came here. Um, you're very spiritually connected. It's a matter of whether or not you're tapping into that connection. So again, message today, just follow your intuition, listen to your intuition, take action on that intuition. That's all.